42 counts related to unauthorized retention of national security secrets, seven counts related to obstructing the investigation, three false statements, one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, falsifying business records, conspiracy to defraud the United States, two counts related to efforts to obstruct the vote certification proceedings, one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights, 23 counts related to forgery or false document statements, eight counts related to soliciting, and I could go on because he's got 91 counts pending right now. High crimes or misdemeanors? I can't seem to find the crime, and honestly, no one has testified of what crime they believe the president of the United States has committed. But when we start talking about things that look like evidence, they want to act like they blind. They don't know what this is. These are our national secrets. Looks like in the shit to me. This looks like more evidence of our national secrets, say on a stage at Mar-a-Lago. When we're talking about somebody that's committed high crimes, it's at least indictments. Let's say 32 counts related to unauthorized retention of national security secrets, seven counts related to obstructing the investigation, three false statements, one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, falsifying business records, conspiracy to defraud the United States, two counts related to efforts to obstruct the vote certification proceedings, one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights, 23 counts related to forgery or false document statements, eight counts related to soliciting. And I could go on because he's got 91 counts pending right now. Most everyone up here on the other side of the aisle has endorsed a person that has been found liable for sexual abuse of women. But we are going to talk about how this party is going to protect women. Are we going to talk about sexual abuse? Because we can get into it. When lawmakers like this are so far out of touch with what women need, we see states pushing back, at least states that will allow you to push back. I'm from the state of Texas, and of course they don't want you to ever have an opportunity to raise your voice in the state of Texas. In fact, Ms. Perry, I know your organization, the Heritage Foundation, loves Texas. Ooh, they love Texas. They always sending us some nonsense bills um, that somehow set this country on the wrong trajectory. They send them to Texas. They send them to Florida. Every deplorable state that we can think about, they usually come in out of y'all's think tank. But nevertheless, when we talk about protecting women, Point of order. I move to strike her words, deplorable states. That's not a point of order. Let the gentlelady proceed. High crimes or misdemeanors? I can't seem to find the crime, and honestly, no one has testified of what crime they believe the president of the United States has committed. But I will tell you what the president has been guilty of. He has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally, and that is the only evidence that they have brought forward. And honestly, I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child. Until they find some evidence, we need to get back to the people's work, which means keeping this government open so that people don't go hungry in the streets of the United States. And I will yield.